Yo, what's good, y'all? So Trail, and welcome to my freshly vacuumed pool table. I know it's so impressive. It's actually courtesy of my new robot vacuum, the Samsung powered by R7040. It's like a really cool robot vacuum, and it's cleaning the house good, so nobody here has to worry about vacuuming. But this ain't a video about vacuuming. This is a video about PowerShare. I'll have a video on that soon, but let's get into it. So, Galaxy S10 Plus Wireless PowerShare. It's a dope feature I'm really feeling. And Samsung said it should work with most Qi enabled devices. That's the keyword, most. So I got all these devices here and I wanna see which ones work and which ones don't. And at that, you can already charge other Qi devices like a LG or a Huawei or even an iPhone. Doubt you could charge an Apple Watch on this thing, but you could charge an iPhone on it. And you know what? You could probably even charge a Wear OS watch on this thing. I'm not sure about that, but probably. You may not think that you need it, but you never know when you might need it. And actually, actually no, I got a good example for this. See, what had happened was, I went to Culver's, right, with my friend Madison. Hi, Madison. But she has an iPhone XR, and she was on there. She's like, oh, my battery's low. She reaches in her bag and, mm, eh, I forgot my charger. I had almost a full battery, and that would have been like the perfect time for me to use my wireless power share. It could have went something like this. Galaxy S10 iPhone XR, boom, done. So just moments like that, maybe you forget to charge your Galaxy Buds or your watch or something like that. You could do it with your S10. So here's what's going down over here. So these are all the things I'm gonna wireless charge except for that. So I got the Samsung BioDesign speaker, the Galaxy Note 5, Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, Galaxy S8, the Galaxy Buds, Gear S2 Classic, and the Gear S3 Frontier. No, I don't have the Galaxy Watch. I just had the Gear S3 Frontier, but the Galaxy Watch will work, obviously. And I got this over here so I can connect it to this so we can hear the charging sound louder. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and move table so we can do this easier. So I'll get back to y'all. All right, it's that time of the table again, and I got everything back. So is you ready? Not are you ready, but is you ready? Let's just go ahead and do this. So let's go to the notifications. Let's click on wireless power share. And now it's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that right there and we're gonna start off with the bottle design speaker. So let's go ahead and find the sweet spot on the Galaxy S10 and listen for the sound. And where is it? I didn't hear a sound, but it's charging right now. So you can see that. So bottle design speaker works. Next is the Galaxy Buzz, which we all know works, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So let's go ahead and put it on there. And it's charging. And if I slightly tilt this, you can see that red dot right there. So next up is the Gear S2 Classic. So let's go ahead and put that on there. Now here's the thing about the Gear S2 Classic that sucks. It only seems to work with the Gear S2 and Gear S3 chargers. Maybe it does with the Galaxy Watch charger too, but the thing is it only works with those chargers. So is it gonna work on the Galaxy S10? Let's go ahead and try it and wait for it. There we go, it's charging. Now here's the other thing. It's gonna do that, but just wait for it. Yeah, you see what I mean? It just stops charging. So I don't know why it does that. I wish I knew why it did that, and I wish it didn't do that. Next up is the Gear S3 at 95%. Let's go ahead and put that on there. And, oh wait, maybe I gotta move it. Let's go ahead and move that a little bit there. And there we go. So now, it takes a while on here for some reason, but it's charging now. And it doesn't do the same thing as the Gear S2 Classic. So that's a pretty cool thing there, I guess. And the Galaxy Watch will do the same thing as that, so. We're all good with the Gear S3. Next up is the Galaxy S8. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Put it on the back of this S10 here, and it is charging. It takes a while on these Samsung devices for some reason, but it's charging. So if I go in the notifications and go to the bottom, it says wireless charging, so it's working. Next is this Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, and I know it's gonna take a while because it's off, but let's go ahead and do that. And it says that, well, it doesn't say it, it makes a noise, but there we go, it's charging. And lastly, it's gonna be the Note 5. Three, two, one, let's put it on there. And that was, okay, that was quick. It's actually charging now though. And I hear the NFC going off right now. So yeah, that's a thing, but yeah, they're all charging. Except for the Gear S2 Classic, but yeah, they're all charging. So for the most part, I don't think you gotta worry about that. So like I said, these, your iPhone, whatever has Qi wireless charging, it should work. Unless it's some weird proprietary thing like the Gear S2 Classic. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe Samsung can fix it for me? I highly doubt it, but I don't know. But that was pretty much it for me. So thanks for watching. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing off. And peace out.